The IC Traveler 3 IE Atlas had already captured astronomers' attention long before its sudden detonation at perihelion. It was only the third interstellar object ever detected. After Aumuamua and 2I, Boris. Unlike previous visitors, 3IE Atlas exploded spectacularly, shattering into incandescent fragments near the sun. This was no ordinary cometary breakup. It was abrupt, energetic, and unprecedented. Astronomers tracked it for months. Its orbit sliced through the solar plane like a celestial blade. Spectroscopy showed unusual composition. Reflective patches, but faint gas emissions. Models predicted slow activity, jets of ice and dust. Nothing prepared scientists for the detonation. Satellites, telescopes, and probes captured a burst of light. For a brief moment, it outshone everything nearby. Its nucleus fragmented completely. A cloud of glowing debris spread along its path. The explosion defied normal physics. Something inside reacted violently, unstable, unknown. Debate erupted. Ordinary sublimation could not explain the energy. Some suggested exotic ices, nitrogen, carbon monoxide. Others speculated structural collapse after cosmic ray damage. Spectroscopy revealed lithium, beryllium, and unknown elements. Alien chemistry, or physics beyond our understanding. The detonation came after perihelion, not at it. Heat triggered a runaway reaction at a critical threshold. Some modeled thermal detonation. Others proposed electrostatic stress from solar plasma. Either way, it revealed interstellar objects can behave unpredictably. Dormant chemical, structural, or magnetic energy may lurk inside. If fragments survived, they could carry alien molecules through space. Potentially delivering prebiotic material to our system. Some physicists speculated about metallic hydrogen in its core. A shard of an exoplanetary mantle detonated after ejection. Before the explosion, it appeared bluish. Afterward, debris glowed reddish, tholines and complex organics. It had spent eons wandering the galaxy. Now it met the sun. For planetary defense, the event was a warning. Even small interstellar objects can release immense energy. Trajectories suggest varied origins, young stellar clusters, metal-rich older systems. Each visitor carries a unique chemical fingerprint. Some viewed the explosion as cosmic fatigue, a final release of stored energy. Isotopic ratios hinted at formation under different stellar conditions. Speculation arose about artificial materials. But evidence remains inconclusive. Energy release suggested exothermic chain reactions in metastable compounds. Deep space chemistry can produce unknown substances. The event highlights the growing number of interstellar visitors. Aumuamua, 2I, Boris, and 3IE Atlas. Debris moved non-uniformly, some faster than expected. Rotational instability may explain sequential flares. Radio bursts and plasma oscillations followed. The debris cloud created its own miniature electromagnetic environment. The explosion combined sublimation, chemical reaction, and mechanical failure. Astrochemistry, plasma physics, celestial mechanics, all in one. Spectropolarimetry revealed anisotropic particles, preserving its birthplace conditions. Perihelion became a stellar detonation. Layered internal structures collapsed. Ices, silicates, hardened crust. Its destruction was a material handshake between our sun and a fragment born elsewhere. Density measurements suggest a hybrid core, rocky or metallic beneath icy layers. Some debris escaped the sun entirely, seeding the cosmos with alien and solar material. 
Infrared afterglow showed fragments retained heat. Plasma interactions caused transient radio bursts, a new astrophysical phenomenon. Visually, the event was breathtaking. Iridescent gas and prismatic dust formed a fleeting halo. Interstellar objects are not inert. They carry complex structures, capable of unpredictable transformations. 3IE Atlas reminded us of the galaxy's interconnected forces. Its destruction revealed alien chemistry, 